Hey guys, welcome to Tasmania TV. Today's video is going to be a product review and it's one that I'm really excited about. I'm going to be trying out the Maybelline Fit Me Anti Shine Stick, which is their new stick foundation. It looks like this. Now, first off, the reason I'm so excited about this is because about maybe 10 years ago or something like that, um, L'Oreal had a similar product. It was um, a stick foundation and it was just like this one, the kind that comes on matte. You don't have to powder or anything like that. And it was my favorite foundation ever, like of all times. So they were fantastic. I absolutely loved that one. But they stopped making it, the fuckers. Um, so I was really upset and I've kind of been trying ever since to find a nice replacement. And I mean, I do have some pretty good foundations, but nothing could compare to that one until now. So first off, um, I've been using this for a while now, so that's why it's not that much left, but it looks like this. It has like a core that is a slightly different tone than the color around it. Now, when it comes to foundations, we usually have one line that are more pinkish and one line that's more yellow because those two are the kind of tones that people usually have in their skin. No matter if they're dark or light, they usually go towards yellow or pink. I'm somewhere in the middle, so it's kind of tricky for me to find a good foundation. Um, the, the good thing about this one is that the surrounding color tends towards the yellow and the color in the middle, which is supposed to be like the gel center, tends towards the pink. So I think that's one of the reasons why I really like this product, because the color fits me perfectly. Now finding the right shade, that was a bit tricky. Um, I'm using the classic ivory, which is one, number 120 vanilla and it was really tricky to find the right one I think I was in the store for like half an hour like just drawing on my face with different ones because when you just look at the product like this there's no free way to tell which tone it is and they didn't have like a chart or anything like that so I had to use the tester products and just go on my hand and on my face and yeah just like that and there was another one that was more towards I think the outside was pink and the core was yellow like reversed and so like this one and it was, I was choosing between those two, but I chose this one and I'm really happy that I did. So Maybelline wants you to put this on using only the, the stick. Just draw it like around your face. And then use your fingers to spread it out. If you want to use a foundation brush or a sponge, that's fine. But it's so simple to just use your fingers. That was a first layer. I'm going back in over the parts that do need a bit more coverage. It goes on so smoothly. It's like creamy, but without being creamy. It's almost like a satin texture to it, which is really nice. Alright, there we go. So you don't need super much. It gives a great coverage. Um, it's not marketed as a full coverage product, but it does give full coverage, I think. I mean, um, I don't have um, like any skin issues or acne or anything like that, so I can't really say how well it would cover those things up, but for me, like the um, under eye circles and like the more red patches are just gone like that, which is a really good thing, and I don't have to powder. See? It's instantly matte but it's not like packed on kind of matte so you can still see a little bit of the natural shine in my skin which is really good so i'm really excited about this product you guys yeah i really am all right so um i'm just going to continue putting on the rest of my makeup for the day then i'm going to go to work and then i'm going to come home and then finish the video for you guys so you can see what's happened to the makeup during the day when i've been at work so Please continue watching. Alright guys, I just came home from work, so it's been um, six hours or something since I put the makeup on. And I have a bit of cold, so I have been blowing my nose and things, but it does stay on pretty well, um, as you can hopefully tell. And it blends into my own skin so well that you can't really see that I've... But it's gone away from around the nose and things like that, so 
I think it looks pretty good and it has not become over shiny. I don't have oily skin so I can't say what it would be like for somebody who has oily skin but I think it looks pretty damn good. So yeah I'm gonna keep wearing this for evening we're gonna go to dinner and stuff and not touch it up. It just I love this product I'm so happy about it. So that's my review I love this. Uh, it's so I'm gonna keep using it and I keep I hope they don't repeat the same mistake that L'Oreal did and just have a temporary. I want them to keep this oh, with the regular product. So um I did try the Fit Me regular foundation and powder before, so if you want to see that, go ahead and check that video out. I'll probably post a link below to that. But this little guy, I mean it's those two products in one, but better. This this is better, it works better, and the thing that I like about this is that it really matches my skin tone. That That's always tricky, like finding something that matches your skin tone and my neck is um, a little bit whiter than my face, so usually my face looks more tanned even though I don't go into the sunlight. Um, so, and I don't want to have to put out makeup on my neck and things like that. But this blends it out so great and I just freaking love it. Thank you Maybelline. Keep making these because I'm gonna keep buying them. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions about the product or anything like that, just go ahead and ask me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!